and i'm back what it is and what it do guys it's your boy oats coming back at you with another stream baby what's up cineki damn you're early today man i appreciate that thank you bro thank you today is actually the last stream of the week um i think it what date is it today it's uh, july the 26th you're off today. Nice. Nice. What you plan to do, Sineke? What you plan to do? Beat off? <laughs> oh, man. I just, like... I just fixed this helmet, bro. Okay, wait. I just fixed this. Okay, it, it either tilts to one side or the other. But anyway, it looks really cool having a samurai like uh, armor in my uh, back of my place. Rested up in game, nice. I feel like really tired, like uh, considering this is like uh, Friday and all that. I feel a little tired. I've been playing a lot of Tekken off stream, like especially since Lydia just dropped. So I gotta learn all like her new combos and shit. And Lydia is an execution nightmare, man. Like, she, she does, like, a lot of, like, just frame techniques, which means that you gotta, like, do things like everything frame accurate if you want to get, like, the maximum amount of damage. And uh, whenever you get, like, blue sparks, it means that you're doing, like, the... You're doing something that gives it, like, the best amount of damage, right? So, like, I've been training, man. I've been trying to get better. Uh, trying to really get my uh, character to be really good. Uh, also, I gotta like make sure like Fang Wei is also like uh, on tip top shape. Uh, Tekken is like one of those games that when it fir when it comes out, you gotta play it day one, man. It's like kind of like buying a new iPhone. Like the the best time to buy a new iPhone is to get the latest iPhone on the day it releases, right? Because like the moment you purchase something like that it's kind of a countdown to when shit kind of like goes down south it's kind of like if you buy your phone when it's already been released in the market for like two three years it's like what are you doing man so it's the same like games like uh tekken you got to play it right off the jump because the game only has a life cycle of like um i don't know seven to ten years so you never know when the game is like gonna like end and people are gonna like forget about it and you want to like get in day one you know that's why i got tekken tekken 8 day one and that's that's also why i probably skipped like most of tekken 7 life cycle because i think like i started having more time to play tekken 7 towards like the final two to three years left on its lifespan and it wasn't, and I, I had the uh, foresight to not even do that. I had the foresight to not even fuck with Tekken at that point. Because, like, if I played Tekken at its final, like, two to three years, I would develop habits that I would have to break when I start playing Tekken 8. You know what I mean? Because Tekken 8 is, like, a different system. So I would have to totally, like, change my shit up in order to, like, um, you know, like, learn learn everything again. That would be, like, so annoying. But, uh, man, I've seen, like, really good players on YouTube. Like, a really good Lydia player who's already a god of destruction in Tekken 8. And that this dude comes from Italy, man. And he said he has 10,000 hours easily on Tekken 7. And he's been playing Lydia for uh, at least, like, uh, 1,400. Ow! Stupid bitch. I'm you stupid bitch. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, bro? Where the fuck are the, the, the Brotherhood outcasts to take care of these, like, trash? Yeah, so it was like, uh... Yeah, so it's it's like if you want to get good at like a game, especially at like Tekken that have such a long life cycle, you gotta like start early. 
And like the other thing about it is like no matter how good you get, like I've been on win streaks recently. I've been on 12 win streak, 8 win streak, 9 win streak, 10 win streaks. No matter how good you are, dude, there's always someone who's gonna be better, man. I got my shit washed, man. I got like I got cleaned. Cleaned out by a lot of pro players online. Good to see you again. Every time I think like I'm like I'm like kind of somewhere with my shit, it's like I'm not even close, man. Okay, I want my shit fully repaired, so I'm gonna repair everything for Man, 3,000 caps is kind of a lot, man. Okay, fuck it. I'll do it. Here we go. I got like a alien blaster. I want to display it. Look at how cool it is. Holy shit. Look at this alien blaster. Shoot up ray beams up someone's bunghole. Yeah, it looks really cool. Look at this. It looks like a Halo weapon. Doesn't this look like a Halo 3 weapon? Man, I really miss the uh, old OG like Xbox 360 days, man. Those were like some really magical times. That was like a... I think that was easily the second... Second golden age of gaming. Like, the first golden age of gaming was definitely, um... PlayStation 2, right? With, like, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City San Andreas, God of War 1 and 2. That was, like, literally the, the golden age of gaming. But the second golden age of gaming was during the Xbox 360's era. It was, like, so good. Dude, that was, like, literally one of the greatest, like, consoles of all time, man. Can I push this in a little bit? Just a little bit. I still want to straighten this up real good. Okay, um... Is this straight? Yeah, man. I really miss those days. And how toxic it was on Xbox Live. Man, playing video games back then was lit, man. It was so fucking toxic. And I love it. It was like a really good time to be a gamer. You know? I remember like back when the Xbox 360 era was popping. Like there were like gems coming out almost every day. Like fucking Dead Rising. Um, you know, Bioshock. Mass Effect. Assassin's Creed 1. Like, holy shit, it was literally like a gigantic jump in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay, in terms of everything, man. It was like such an awesome time to be a gamer. I remember playing Fable 2. That was so awesome. Damn. I I don't know when it's going to be the, like, the, the, the next golden era of gaming. I guess you could easily say like we are kind of kind of living another golden era of gaming, but I don't know. I really don't know. You know? You know like what is also kind of crazy is the fact that like my golden era of gaming is probably not somebody else's golden era of gaming. It's so subjective. You know what I mean? It's like some kid right now who is like playing fucking Fortnite. That is his like golden era of gaming. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy, man. It's like I, I wouldn't remember Fortnite as fondly as I would remember like God of War or something. You know? God of War like was my favorite PlayStation 2 game back then like whenever i think of the playstation 2 i keep thinking of god of war i don't know why there's there was like something really magical about god of war it was like just like damn it, it just like also felt like god of war kind of became woke as shit 
Like now like Kratos is a fucking dad and he can't fuck bitches no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like back then like games had like an edge. It was like get money, fuck bitches all day. Yeah, Fortnite was whatever, right, Sinki? But like I'm talking about like when gaming was like badass. Remember PlayStation 2? Kratos fuck bitches get money all day. I like that, man. It's like they would literally have cutscene with like big titty ass women and like Kratos like uh, fucking in the middle of a bed like uh, looking badass and shit. And now Kratos is like, I don't know, man. Kratos has had become a big softy. Like, I, I, I mean, I do appreciate that. Like, OK, you know, there is like some character growth and whatever. But like, I don't know, man. It ain't the same. You remember, huh? Yeah, you're old enough to remember Sinki. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those things, man. I just wish I can go back in time and really experience like what it was like again. It was such a special time, bro. What an amazing time to be a gamer. Because like whenever games were released back in the Xbox 360 era, you kind of had that feeling like you don't you you don't know what this game is gonna be like, but you know for a fact that it's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you, you can't tell for sure. Like I think like it was the same for like when the first Assassin's Creed first release. It's like I was already a fan of Ubisoft at that point. Like I felt that Ubisoft was the shit. Now Ubisoft is uh, definitely super trash, right? But back then, like, Ubisoft was, like, making Prince of Persia, Rayman Legends, like, all that great Ubisoft games, man. Far Cry. And now, like, Far Cry is fucking trash. Uh, fucking... All of it is, like, not, th not as good anymore, man. I don't know what happened, bro. It's like a lot of games fell off. A lot of companies fell off. It's like the moment a company starts to go corporate... It's like when it fucking falls off. Yo, Rat Westbury, get the fuck out of my way, bro. Get out of here. I'm trying to put my shit together. Get out of here. Fucking hate this dude, man. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see what else we can display. Man, I'm such a big fan of the original Prince of Persia uh, games, man. It was so good. It was like such a sick time to be like a gamer. You know what I mean? The original Prince of Persia, bro. It was amazing. Man. I wish I can uh, stream the original Prince of Persia uh, on stream for you guys. But uh, I gotta like boot up the PlayStation 3. Because unfortunately Bethesda have... Oh, Bethesda. Ubisoft have not released a... Um, I don't know. A remastered version for PS5. Ooh. I think it'd be cool if I put like some of the alien weapons here. Oh, wait, maybe let's take a look at the rest of the house. Maybe I can put it somewhere else. Mm, I'm trying to think. I wonder if I could display one of these here. This is such a cool looking weapon, man. Holy shit. Captain Sidearm. I was kind of thinking if I can put it right here. Okay, I don't think there's space. Yeah. Uh, Fire Lance. It's a really cool weapon. Yeah, Prince of Persia was really good, man. And Prince of Persia was like the direct inspiration to what became Assassin's Creed. Like they were actually making another Assassin's Creed when they were like uh, making like... um. A, 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 an alpha 
an alpha stage for Assassin's Creed. They didn't Assassin's Creed didn't even exist back then. Right? It, and it, 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 they were making a Prince of Persia game, but then they realized like holy shit, I think we have a new franchise on our hands. You love Warrior Within and Two Thrones. I think Warrior Within might be my favorite. Even though like arguably you you can say like Sense of Time is the greatest. Sense of Time is like the greatest of all time. Two Thrones is like combining both Sands of Time and Warrior Within. But Warrior Within, holy shit, the music, man. Like, the game would start with this Arabian guy singing, like, uh, uh. Then the music starts playing. Dun, 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 dun. And it's like fucking heavy metal shit, man. It was so fucking badass. It was like so different from the first game, like because the first like Sands of Time was like more like Aladdin. It was trying to like capture the whole like Arabian Nights kind of the theme. You know what I mean? It's like um Yeah man. That was such a good time. I really miss those days. Gaming was like really special. And you you gotta think about it, like when Prince of Persia made a sequel, it wasn't even trying to be uh, like the first game. It was trying to be like something different. That's what I love about games back in the day. They don't try to be anything else. They try to be like different. You know? Man, people hated Warrior Within, man. I have friends who talk so much shit about Warrior Within because they didn't understand or appreciate like the aesthetic of warrior within because warrior within was fucking metal man it was dark as shit like and then the prince have changed the prince is being hunted down by the fucking the haka and the music changed it wasn't like this fucking friendly arabian night steam kind of music anymore yeah the big monster the, the haka that was so sick man you would think like Ubisoft would like at least remake the game or at least like um not remake at least like kind of like bring the old game to the like PS5 you know what I mean and yeah, that was like it, it's a little sad that it's not the same anymore man those were the days bro back then it was like kind of badass to be a gamer you know what I mean? It's like, it's really badass to be a gamer. Like, games back then had so much a edge. Like, but right now, like, games cannot have the same edge because of, like, woke culture. I, I'm pretty sure, like, um, Warrior Within probably had, like, a million things that would have been totally unacceptable in today's standards. Like, bitches with big-ass titties. Like, the pranks being a fucking... I don't know, messages telling women to stay in the kitchen and shit. But man, that was a good ass time, bro. If you really think, man, the golden era of gaming was all about getting bitches, fucking bitches and getting money. That was all, that was it. That was like, it was so special. And don't, don't forget what they took away from us, man. And you get like a fucking Kratos who becomes a dad. Kratos is like, I, you know, if you really think about Kratos, there's no way in fucking hell Kratos would be a good dad. Kratos grew up in the Spartan culture, man. He was being beaten up every single day to be a badass warrior. You think he's going to let his son off the hook if his son, like, mouse off at him? You don't think he's going to pimp slap the fuck out of Atreus if Atreus even there opens his fucking mouth? Dude, man, back in the Spartan culture, it was all about strength and honor, man. Like, you know, it'll be yes sir, no sir type shit, right? They made Atreus more like an American kid, always like talking shit back to his dad because he know like child protective services is going to like get his ass if he if he doesn't like be cool. Damn, that was whack, man. Man, it was such a special time to be a gamer. Man, it, it felt like when I, when I was a kid playing PlayStation 2, it always felt like you were doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
it felt like you were doing something that was illegal. Especially when I was playing like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Holy shit. And then like I fucking bring a hooker into my car to get my dick sucked. And like have to thumping and pumping in the car. And then my parents were not at home. I felt like I was doing something wrong. It was so good. Holy shit. Those were the days, bro. Man. What happened to games, bro? Games kind of became trash. It's not the same, man. Games came, became trash. It's... Man. I kind of... I kind of wish, like, I, I live long enough to eventually like things go back to normal you know what i'm saying it's like i want things to go back to normal meaning like i kind of want like the woke culture to die and i want to like i want to see games go back to having edge i want to i want to i want to see kratos fuck bitches again i want to see i want to have i want to play a game where i'm i'm the fucking badass in the game you know what i'm saying how amazing that'll be to be a complete badass again like i i don't think there's a lot of games where you can be a badass anymore i think like that's why people are looking forward to like grand theft auto 6 because like that's one of the only few games out there where you like literally can fuck bitches and get money it's i'm i'm telling you bro Games back then were special because all you really do is fuck bitches, get money. That was like, that's, that's what makes like the world run. You know? Now games are like fucking like about like my, your feelings and shit. I don't like that. I don't like games that talk about feelings and shit. It's not like God of War is all about feelings. Holy shit. Like, dude, grow a fucking pair, bro. Like, bring... Oh, my God. In every God of War game back in the day, like, God of War 1, 2, 3. And then they had, like, the PSP version, like, Ghost of Sparta. Um, it was, it was like, every single game had, like, a bigger titty woman. Remember in God of War 3, Aphrodite with her big-ass titties? Holy shit. Man, those were the fucking days, man. No wonder they never remastered that shit. Because, like, I don't know if bringing that game is, like, good for, like, the woke culture, man. Fucking hate people getting woke as shit. You know what I mean? It ain't the same, bro. That was such a special time. I always look back, like, very, very fondly. At the time when games were like incredibly special. You know, games were really, really special back then. I think like games, like, I think it, the games were like uh, movies in a sense. Like, the reason why movies back then were good is because they are not afraid to show you like some sexuality, to show you like uh, women, uh, hot women, badass looking men. You know, like, nowadays, like, when I watch movies, it's like, all the men are weak as shit, man. All the wem all the men are always crying about, like, their fucking feelings. Like, holy shit, dude. Grow a fucking pair, bro. You know what I'm saying? I can't stand this shit right now. It's so bad. Like, dude, uh, I think the other day, like, uh, on a weekend, I watched Conan the Barbarian. It was so fucking good, man. It was so good to see titties again. Titties and big strong men. Fucking shit up. That was the shit, bro. That was the shit. What a special time, man. Okay, I think I should probably sell some shit. Um, maybe I'll sell this fat man. And I'll sell some frag grenades. Frag grenades, maybe some frag mines. Okay, let's do that. And I gotta go, like, I make some money and buy some bullets. 
Man, what what a amazing, amazing time back in the day, man. I don't know. I do. I mean, I do appreciate um, PlayStation Five, though. I really do like believe in the legacy of PlayStation and how special it is, because a lot, a lot of people can appreciate that. PlayStation came a really long way. Like pe most people don't even know that PlayStation wasn't almost wasn't even a thing, because Sony didn't want to have to do anything with gaming. Sony felt that gaming was like for babies. And so uh, like PlayStation was only created because Sony was trying to help Nintendo create a disc based console and Nintendo fucked Sony over. So, Nintendo fucked Sony by going to Philips. Isn't that crazy? Like if like so if like Nintendo didn't fuck Sony over, we wouldn't have PlayStation. Yo, the fuck? Where the fuck is this dude? Wasn't there supposed to be a shopkeeper? Okay, I, let me exit and go back in. Yo, where the fuck is this dude? Maybe the shop is not open yet. Okay, here he is. Guns, guns. Shut up. Let me see your shit, boy. Man, I love PlayStation. You know, like for the longest time, I've always considered like getting a PlayStation tattoo with the triangle, circle, square, and X. Yeah, I know, real original, right? Real original, but I've always thought of it, man. I really love PlayStation. Or at least like the OG PlayStation 1 logo, the one with the PS. It, 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 man, I love PlayStation. Dude. The first time I had the PlayStation 1 and I played it back home and I heard the boot up sound effect of PlayStation, dude, I have chills running down my asshole, man. It was so fucking good. Gaming is like incredibly, incredibly special to me. You know what I mean? It's like, 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 I, I just want to play games. Like if I'm not... If I'm not streaming, I'm playing games all day, every day, man. Man, the quality of the games even back then was some special, man. Think about the day whenever people would mention Squaresoft and it would send a shiver down everyone's spine because of how goddamn good their games are. You know what I'm saying? And now you look at the games that Square Enix releases today and it's fucking dog shit. Holy shit. What a fucking shit show, man. You know? I really miss those days. I think I, I, um, I, there was like a sale for a uh, Final Fantasy 8 on PlayStation 5. I think I bought it again. That's how fucking good the game is, man. I've been fucking buying like, uh, you know, so many re-releases -re -re of fucking old ass Squaresoft games. Man, I gotta, I gotta stream like a classic uh, Final Fantasy game one time. The only thing that I gotta kind of prepare myself for is like, there's a lot of reading. And there's a lot of grinding. Like the grinding I'm cool with, right? Because I, I can talk forever i can make like a grindy stream be as interesting as like shit but holy shit the reading might be a little bit of a problem man gotta read everything they say because like back in the day games were not voice acted understandably so fat man uh does he even sell like alien rounds? That'll be kind of tight. I don't think so. Oh, he sell magnum rounds. I love magnum rounds. Auto rounds. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Man. Being a gamer was so special. 
I kind of still hope that, you know, like, um, one day we'll still get games like God of War. God of War was, like, in fucking credible, man. When I first bought the game, I didn't even know what the fuck else. it was. It was like another time in gaming, uh, culture. Holy shit, God of War felt like you were really playing an adult game. I don't- there's a lot of games out there today that when I play it, I don't feel like I'm playing an adult game. Other than Grand Theft Auto. Because if your game doesn't have fucking bitches and getting money, I don't want to fucking play it, man. It's like- It's all about fucking bitches and getting money. That was what makes games special. And that's why people cannot wait for Grand Theft Auto 6. Get money, fuck bitches. It's like the easiest formula to printing money. You know, that's what makes like Vice City, San Andreas, God of War so special, man. Get money, fuck bitches. We're going to close soon. You better oh shit. Uh, can we sell him some shit? 500 bucks worth of shit. Uh, does he have any ammo? Yeah. Fallout is like still pretty good. At, at least the old school Fallout. The later Fallout games? Holy shit. Kind of shitty. Okay, does he have any anti-material rifle CF parts? Okay, I have this. Assault, assault Carbine Extended Magazine. Mm. Grenade Rifle Long Barrel. I think I definitely have that. Grenade Rifle Long Barrel. Yeah, I do. Plasma Pistol High Energy Ionizer. M.O.P. Yeah. Okay, let's just buy some ammo. Fifty M.G. Forty-four Magnum rounds. Hell yeah. I don't know what L.R. rounds are, but I'm gonna buy it. Okay, let's sell some frag grenades to make our money back. Cool. We've got 10,000 bottle caps right now. Give me a shout if you need it. See ya. I think I'm gonna go get my dog back soon. Because every time you do the DLC, it kicks out all your companions. Uh, okay, let's go get my dog first. I don't want him to be all alone in Vault 101. Kinda sad to leave your dog alone. Come here, boy. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go to... Uh, museum first. I think I might not rock companions for a while, man, because like... Like, having companions might be annoying. Like, I will, like, keep my dog back in my house, but I don't think I'm gonna get Sharon or Fox for a while. Come here, boy. Man, I wish you can get a cat in this game. That would be kind of cool. Yo, get up, Tulip. Got some stuff I need to buy. You came back. Yep. Let's see what you got for sale, bitch. Uh, she don't got any like super new weapons or any new outfits. I'll take the super stim packs though. Thirty-two rifle extended. Magazine, I got that. 
Okay, anything new? Chinese assault rifle short barrel. Yeah, I have that. Man, today I'm gonna watch like uh, on Netflix, there's this like cheerleader show about the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Damn, that's gonna be hot. Can't wait to watch that shit, man. Kinda wonder what it what's like life like for cheerleaders. I don't think it's that great. Like you gotta you gotta like work a lot to stay hot. And I, I, I don't even know if the money's good. Yeah, I really like the music in this game. It really sounds like the Wild West a little bit. A little bit, just a bit. Okay, sell for 800 bucks. Very nice. Give me a shout if you See ya. Okay, let's head back home. Puppy. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come here, boy. I don't know what gun I'm gonna go with. Like, I feel like the alien disintegrator is such a badass weapon. Especially now I have a hundred in energy weapons. Holy shit, there's like st still a lot of the map I haven't explored yet. Okay, let's go back to Megaton. I'm gonna keep my dog. And I'm gonna like offload a lot of uh, shit I'm carrying. Look at this fucking fruit, man. I put this crunchy mud fruit on this table and it's glowing in the dark. God damn. Come here, boy. Oh fuck, he knocked over my gun. Okay, come here. Come upstairs. Over here. You chill over here, boy. Yeah, you chill over there. Or can I get him to like chill here? I don't know. I don't want him knocking over my shit. I like having him in the house. It makes the house feel like very homey. Okay, let me just push him inside. Ow, fuck. Okay, wait, let me get him to follow me. Uh, come on, boy. Okay, come here. Come here, boy. Okay, wait here. Okay, save. And we're gonna push him into the corner. Cause, you know, it's kind of like where the dog gets to like sleep near like the warmth of the server machines. Okay, yeah, go in, get in there. Get in there, boy. Okay, quick saves. I treat my dog a little bit like a decoration too. Get in there. Yes, that's a good boy. He doesn't want to go in there. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, he keeps coming out. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's over there. That's cool. It's like his little, like, uh, dog area. They got a dog bowl with a Brahmin steak. So that whenever he gets hungry. Okay, he's kind of in the way. Yo, get in there, bro. I don't know why he doesn't want to get in there. Okay, good. Can you stay there? 
Oh, that's perfect. Okay, he stayed there. That's perfect. Oh my god, that's exactly how I wanted it to be. Yes, yeah, stay right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I can put back my gun. I think I should maybe put it like in an area where I, I don't think he can get knocked over. Probably prop it up against the uh, reloading bench. Yeah, right there, it seems pretty cool. Yeah, I might actually compare the disintegrator with the Lincoln's repeater. Just to see like which weapon is better, you know? Because I have like a lot of disintegrator uh, ammo. But I don't know if I want to use... If, if this gun is like really super rare and uh, like the ammo for it is like not very common, I think I might not want to use it. But it really depends. Man. You know, I gotta, I gotta also mention, you know, I was actually talking about like, um, the, uh, I was actually talking about the golden era of gaming with Xbox 360. Fallout 3 was also part of that era, man. That's crazy. I'm actually still appreciating games and enjoying them, like from that era. It's so cool. So cool, man. Oh, not to mention Gears of War. Holy shit. Like I said, man, Gears of War is like a manly game. Like, they don't make games like that no more, man. I don't even know why. It's kind of sad. Do I have like another intact garden gnome? Let's see. Man, I would love to replay uh, God of War. Uh, sorry, Gears of War on uh, stream someday. But... I think you gotta get like a um, Xbox or you gotta get like a pretty decent PC to stream it. Man. Da -da 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 -da. Million places. Oh, ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Yo, fucking Gears of War, bro. Holy shit, what a fucking amazing game. Incredible, man. And what a what a time to be a gamer back then. Like I think it's still pretty cool to be a gamer today, but man, back then was some real special. Man. And games, oh my god, Xbox 360 really killed it back then. Fucking Halo, Gears of War, Dead Rising, uh, Fallout, Fable, Mass Effect. And look at where like Xbox 360 is right, right now. Kind of in shambles. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn. Talking so much shit, starting to sneeze. Man, I want to go get. I want to get something special to eat today. Today being Friday and all. I only eat like one meal a day, because like, I used to eat like the regular. Like I used to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but um. I don't know, ever since like I uh I, I felt way better in terms of health whenever I eat one meal a day, I feel really good. Like a lot of energy. I can eat as much as I want uh for that one meal and not get fat as fuck. I try to not snack on stuff. I love soda and I love alcohol, but I've been trying to drink like diet soda for a while now gotten used to like drinking uh, coca-cola zero you know i still think that real coke probably tastes way better especially the one you get from thailand and mexico because they use real sugar in them but um yeah i love soda i think my favorite soda besides coca-cola has to be haritos 
Haritos Mexican soda is so good. Haritos Mexican soda. Oh my god, are you serious? The fuck? Okay, why can't this thing not stand straight? I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. Man, Mad World. Holy shit. Mad World, bro. Fucking Gears of War. I'm so pissed off that gaming fucking sucks ass, bro. Holy shit. Man, give us back the Xbox 360 era. I'm so pissed off at Microsoft for fumbling the bag, bro. Holy shit. Can you imagine Microsoft like fucking up Xbox 360s at uh, the Xbox console so bad? Making like fucking Gears of War become woke? Like holy shit. The the late the most recent Gears of War is like you play as this female, this skinny ass female. Like holy shit, what the fuck, bro? I wanna play as some Conan the Barbarian type of dude. Big and strong. And there's only two things I want to do. Get money. Fuck bitches. Man. Fuck all these Japanese gotcha games, man. You know, back in the day, that if you played that type of shit, you know, you, you get made fun of. People look at you funny if you play that type of weird type shit. You know why Japanese games back then were tight? Like, and I'm talking about Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. Why was it tight? Go back to the original 2 formula I just said. Get money, fuck bitches. That's all you did in, in, in Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. It was so good. And look what happened. Shit. Damn. I'm so upset, bro. I'm so upset. Oh, alien crystal. I wonder if you can display it. But I don't really know where to display it. Oh, maybe I can put some over here. I find it kind of funny. Find it kind of sad. The awesome games that I played are no longer... Oh man. Wait, wasn't there like another piece of money, pre-war money on the floor? Did it fell through? Whatever, man. The fucked up thing about my house in Megaton is the floor still looks really fucked up. Oh, I was kind of wondering if I can put bottle caps. Like, can I, can I put bottle caps on the table? Um, I don't think like bottle caps will appear as an item. Yeah, capsite is like a whole separate thing. Damn, mad world. Um. Okay, what else I got? Yeah, I wanted to uh, display the alien large crystal. Crystal. Man. Man, back then, man, Xbox 360 was associated with, like, being a fucking badass. Think about it, man. Like, it felt so special. What happened, man? What the fuck happened, bro? Okay, large alien crystal. Okay, let's drop one first. Ooh, looks really shiny. I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit like the cheap jewelry like kids would play with. Look at that, pretty cool. I wonder if it comes in different colors or is it just like one regular type color? 
Oh, maybe it's just like one regular type color. Yeah, it looks like the fake jewelry kids would play with. Okay, uh, I think I got the small crystal. Crystal. Small alien crystal. I find it kinda funny. I find it kinda sad. The games of today is really, really bad. And everything is making me feel really mad. Bars, bro. Man, give me back the... Dude, what happened to fucking games, bro? What the fuck happened to games? Games were so special, bro. Holy shit. Especially Gears of War, man. I think Gears of War definitely ripped off uh, f uh, Warhammer 40k a lot. You can see, like, the world of, like, uh, Gears of War and, like, them fighting fucking ugly-ass mutants. It's all, like, and, and their power armor and, like, it's all a uh, uh, for Warhammer 40k, man. What's up, Valky? I see you lurking in chat. I don't know if you're old enough to remember the Xbox 360 era, man. I'm actually talking about Xbox 360 and how the golden era, it was like the second golden era of gaming, you know, and now like the games of today are like really shitty, you know, I guess I'm, 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 I, a lot of people can say like, I'm a very nostalgic person because I talk a lot of positive things about things that already like are old, but I talk a lot of shit about like stuff of today. Oh, you're PlayStation. You don't play Xbox. I, I play Xbox and PlayStation. The only Nintendo stuff I played were, were like the really uh, old shit, like uh, Nintendo NES, Nintendo Entertainment System, and Game Boy. I kind of wish like I my parents were cool enough to let me own a GameCube, but I knew if I if I asked for one. Um, uh, they're, they're probably not, they're, I, I probably can't get a PlayStation. Your parents only got you PlayStation. Wait, so which PlayStation you start with? Man, I remember like, uh, if I wanted a PlayStation 1 back in the day, I had to get straight A's in school, man. Can you imagine me being a straight A student? Crazy, right? Crazy the amount of like shit I had to go through to even be a gamer. Your sister's ex-boyfriend bought a Sega Saturn. Damn. I wonder what was that like? I would love to play the Sega Saturn. Damn, ex-boyfriend, huh? What happened between them? Seems like a cool guy. If he if he plays games, he seems pretty cool. I love SimCity. Yes, uh, SimCity 3000 was my favorite. Dude, SimCity, I played SimCity for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. I love SimCity. The music was so epic. You felt like a fucking god. And that, like the city is always never happy because they always like one more shit. I love SimCity, man. And I introduced it to my uh, roommate um, back in uh, college. And he played it every f single fucking day, man. SimCity 3000. I, I wish I can still play it on stream. You know, I don't know if it works with uh, Windows 10 or not. It probably does. But I, I, I don't know. Does the game like crash or anything like that? SimCity was so good. Like, I tried playing City Skyline, but it didn't feel the same. SimCity 3000 was so good, bro. Holy shit. One of the greatest games of all time. Like, you can build your city, and then you can, like, test how fucking durable your city is by throwing a tornado into it. Man, it was so good. Oh my god. 
Holy shit. And then, oh, there was like, you also can, you also can uh, send like UFOs to ad- abduct people. Oh, man. <laughs> that was the shit. Oh, and you can have like other stuff, right? Like, um, was it like Bigfoot and stuff? But I played SimCity every day religiously, right? Like every day I was like building my city to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was so excited to get up the next day and, you know, just keep playing the game. It's like, I, it's like, it was so awesome. Like I come back from school and I'll play SimCity and I would get like a, I would unlock a new like a statue or like a new building I can build. And it was like, the best game for OCD people, man. Holy shit. I would spend thousands of hours just making sure the roads are straight. Um, you know, like, uh, and making sure the streets are clean and building the industry area, like, really far away from the, 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 the population so they don't breathe in the smoke. You know, Simcopter? Uh, I don't know about it. Yeah, I, I don't know about it. Simcopter? No, not really. Is it a good game? I tried playing like some, um, pilot simulator games, uh, back then, but I don't know. It felt a little boring. A little bit. You would love Simcopter? I don't know if I would though, because like back when I was a kid, I tried playing pilot simulator and it felt boring. Because, like, it was, like, too real world, you know what I mean? Where you gotta, like, press the buttons correctly, and... I don't know, maybe if I would gotten really into it, I might have loved it, but... Yeah, I don't know. I much prefer flying helicopters at, like, games... In games like Grand Theft Auto. Because you can actually see your character in third person. The thing with, like, playing simulator pilot games is, like, you don't actually get to see the plane... Because you're sitting in the cockpit. I mean, I, I kind of get it. It's like all about simulating like what what's what it's like uh, flying. You know, I kind of get it. But yeah, I, I don't know. Probably not my cup of tea. Basically, you're a pilot and you go around helping civilians. Like you either fetch people around or help catch robbers or save injured people. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty good. It's quite funny. Yeah, I like funny. I like funny. I love funny. I love games that have humor in them. Like, SimCity had a lot of humor in them. Like, the people are, like, would always be doing some dumb shit. And you would read it on the newspaper. You know, like... And, and like, when things are, like, really good and happy in your SimCity, people tend to, like, like, complain about the most stupid shit. And I actually see that in Singapore. Singapore is so safe and peaceful that people complain about the dumbest shit ever, man. It's pretty awesome. The way they talk also. Oh, yeah. Sim people have their own language, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it sounds a little like... I don't know. It sounds like it could be like a little Swedish or whatever. Man, Sim City. I love SimCity. I think like SimCity was like one of those games that my dad approved me playing. Cause my dad was always trying to control the type of games I played. My dad didn't like me playing violent games. Because like he thinks that if I play like violent games like Grand Theft Auto, I'm gonna grow up to be like a serial murderer or something. Holy shit, this thing is almost impossible to display, man. It's a cool, it's a badass looking weapon, but. Ah, no. Theme hospital? Uh, no, I never heard of that one. I never heard of that one. Theme hospital. You play GTA the first edition, the top down view. Oh, that one was pretty cool. Yeah, um, that one was the original one. Yeah, I, I played that only years later. When I, I got done playing the, the other ones, the more famous ones. Yeah, that was quite fun. But uh, I think my favorite 
And a lot of people's favorite is still like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Easily the greatest Grand Theft Auto game of all time. Oh shit, this thing is really stuck behind that thing. Oh, okay, if I balance it near the table... Oh, that looks not bad. Yeah, that actually looks really stable. Yeah, San Andreas was so good. Especially since you can be black in the game. You know? I learned to talk a lot of shit when I played that game for the first time, man. When I played that game... Um, when it first came out... And I, I was, like, so hype about the game. I started calling my little sister Fool. Because, like, um... The characters would call each other fool in the game. They're like, "At hey, what up, fool?" Or like, uh, um, or, or they call each other, they call CJ a buster because he's always like leaving to uh to do his own shit. Oh, CJ, you a buster? You a fool? I'll call my sister a fool or a buster. Those were like the good old days, man. Damn, man, San Andreas was so good. Uh, I think I played San Andreas like twice on stream, um, on Twitch. It, the playthrough is still on my YouTube. It's amazing. But like one of the things I, I feel really sad when I, when I think about Grand Theft Auto is like the fact that like music on streaming and on YouTube is so strict that it's almost impossible to like enjoy it, the music. Like I, I'm not, actually looking forward to streaming Grand Theft Auto 6 when it comes out next year because because like the music is you, you cannot play the music and the music is half the experience right when you're cruising in your car jacking people's shit having a good old time you, you can't listen to the music on stream otherwise you're gonna get copyright claimed you know Twitch is gonna have to mute all your VODs like, I think, like, I, I played, I, I tried playing Fallout, uh, with the music, right, on the radio, and you, you would, you would think that the music is so fucking old that there wouldn't even be a problem. But Twitch, like, muted my VODs and said, like, oh, yeah, we can detect you're playing copyright content, and I'm like, holy shit. And then YouTube also got out in my grill and let me know, like, uh, my videos were unacceptable for all the vid, for all the, um, music. Do you play RPG games? Yeah, I grew up with RPG games. I'm like the most complete gamer. I play every type of game. I play racing games. I play fighting games. I play RPGs. Um, I play story driven games. I play every single type of games. I play simulator games. I'm like, if, if Ready Player One was a reality, I would be like one of the top gamers. Star Ocean Sukoden. I, I played Sukoden back in PlayStation One. You love Sukoden. Ah, uh, Sukoden Two was really good. I'm still trying to find like the original CD on eBay. Yeah, Sukoden, man. Sukoden. Ugh. Sukoden. Star Ocean was all right. Yeah, wasn't really my cup of tea. Yeah, Sukoden Two was the shit, man. Damn. Valky, you old as shit too, man. Sukoden. How do you pronounce it the proper way? Suikoden. Suikoden. Suikoden totemo ori oish, uh, omoshiroi desu. Dekai game desu. Suikoden. But I gonna, I'm gonna say the, the, the proper American English way. Sukoden. Sukoden. You pronounce Ryu as Ryu. Kuma. Akuma. Kojima. <laughs> you waiting for the remake? Is there gonna be a remake? Wait, is, is it, is that gonna be a remake? I think they remade like a couple of like legendary, um, uh, RPGs like Legend of Mana. I think I bought that shit. Damn. It's a code. It's on Steam, but no news so far. Okay, but they are they are working on it, right? As long as they're working on it, that's pretty cool. 
Sukoden. You know what I mean? I think like once I'm done with Fallout, I might play... I think Demon Souls Remastered. Yeah, I think I might play Demon Souls Remastered. You hope they are? Yeah, I hope so too, man. But like sometimes the re the remastered or the remake isn't as good as the original because they don't put enough time or effort into it. it appears you've been wounded, sir. May I suggest you oh, am I wounded? I'm cool. What the fuck is he talking about? Okay, let me just use the infirmary. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at my dog. Damn. Come back down. <laughs> Come back down. Oh, shit. Now he's floating in the air. Fucking Bethesda, bro. Oh, did you hear the story about like a corgi dog in Singapore getting hung at a grooming, at a groomer because they, they, uh, they put a short leash on it and it was on a table and the groomers went to eat lunch. <laughs> that was kind of fucked up. Gaboa. Gaboa. Come here, boa. Come here, boa. Get in that hole. Oh my god. Oh shit, he's in my way. I, I can't get through. Holy shit, dog meat is a pretty big dude. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, go in there. Get in there. Yes. Yes. Okay, maybe I'll just push you next to the chair. Okay, cool. Save. Uh, what else do I want to display? Let's see. My skills are really cool. Like, I have like almost a hundred for everything. Barter a hundred, NG weapons, guns, lockpick, repair sign, sneak speech, speech. Okay, let's see miscellaneous. Okay, I think I should keep the other miscellaneous items. You play any survival games? Um, like what? I do love survival games. Yeah. But I don't think I played any, any recent survival games. Like, the survival game I can think of right off the top of my head is, like, uh, survival horror. Oh, I love Minecraft, yeah. I haven't played Raft and Forest, though. I heard about those. I definitely heard about those, but I should check them out. I love survival games. But the difficult thing about survival games is it takes a while to get used to, like, the system of the survival game. I think I tried playing Subnautica. Um, and, but it was like taking way too long. It was like a little too boring at the start. So I kind of flushed it prematurely. Yeah. You'll love seven days to die. Oh, I'll try, I'll check it out. Seven days to die. Have you tried Subnautica? Subnautica seems pretty cool. But it feels like you have to like, the game is like really slow, so you have to like, um, kind of build up something in the game until like you get to the good parts. I like games like Fallout. Fallout is considered like a survival game, I guess if you play it on really, on really difficult settings. I really love Fallout. Fallout is my type of shit. Seven days to die. I'll check it out. Is it on PlayStation or is it on PC? Seems like a PC type game. 
Oh, I love like really um indie type games like uh Papers Please. Holy shit, Papers Please were so good. And there was like another zombie game where you have to build like a settlement, like and then zombies keep attacking your settlements. I like those type of games. I like games that you have to think a lot. Like games like like SimCity would would be kind of a game that you have to think a lot. Man, I'm actually looking forward to playing uh, Baldur's Gate. Bal I want to play Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and 3. For show. For show. Okay, let's keep the frag mine shit. Oh my god, the robot has still not come out of this fucking room. Thank god he doesn't knock over my shit though. Otherwise, I would be super pissed. Okay, maybe we can think about something else to decorate and while we wait for him to come out of my room. Uh, let's take a look at my miscellaneous real quick. Camera. I wonder if where could I place a camera? And would it look cool? I don't know. Okay, let's maybe try to put the camera next to the uh, music sheet thingy. Camera. Ooh, it looks like one of those old timey cameras from like the 1950s, you know? The one that have a light bulb that explodes. I think it's even older than that, right? Probably like the 1920s. Ooh, look at that. Really good looking camera. Yeah. I like games that are badass. Like, uh, when I start playing Xbox 360 and Gears of War first came out, holy shit. I think I actually saw Gears of War at a shopping mall. <laughs> like, wow, it looks incredible. When I say you will like trust me, you're like you live in a zombie world, you're alone, you walk around place to gather materials and items to survive. You need to feed yourself and keep yourself warm. You need to get to build and stuff and upgrade and make your own vehicle. On every seventh day the horde will find you, so you need to prepare a base or somewhere to protect yourself. Oh I would love that. I love that type of game. Yeah, but okay, wait, wait. But is that game on um uh, PlayStation? I, I like games that are console based because I love using the controller. I mean, I don't mind using um, keyboard and mouse, but I kind of like the controller. Yeah, I'm a controller type of dude. I don't have a problem playing with mouse and keyboard, but if I can sit back and relax, like I mean, I'm playing this game with a controller. Look at this. Right, I got like a, I think this is a PlayStation 4 controller. I think it is. Yeah, this is a PlayStation 4 controller. It's better on PC. You can play controller. It's even better with friends. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. I don't like friends. I don't like friends like fucking up my shit. You know what I mean? Like if I have friends playing with me, they got to be my slaves. They got to do exactly as I say. Because I'm like a really smart gamer and smart person. I play games on like very difficult settings. Like I would play like Dark Souls, Demon Souls. I'll play games on hardcore mode. I need slaves, not friends. I need slaves that will do exactly to my bidding. Like go here, do that, clean that shit up. You know, that kind of thing. That's why I don't think I'll be very good to play with. You cannot play with trolls on that game. Oh, I'll ban them super quick. I'll get them out of my game fast. I mean, is the game still fun with like solo? If it's not f as fun solo it, and if the game was like made for co-op, I don't know. Yeah, I'll be pissed. I'll be super pissed. I would, I, I think like the thing I didn't like about Minecraft was like the co-op. Where someone can come into your world and fuck your shit up. Holy shit. That would be a, such a fucking nightmare. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Wait, is the robot out of my room? Oh, he's still there. 
on pc is also twitch integration oh okay so like your viewers can do shit in your game right now nah, i don't know i mean the viewers doing shit in your game can be kind of fun you know but i don't know let's see centaur blood uh Sinuki says i would tell you to do it yourself like play the game yourself yeah i mean too man like i think so too I think playing playing the game yourself is like the shit. In general, I think like playing games by yourself is always better. Where your viewers spawn mon monsters or help you with loot. Oh, okay. Ah, damn. Viewer interaction. That feels so dirty. Viewers like having like a fucking say. Is there a way to only make subscribers like... Like, um... Is there a way to make only subscribers interact? Because I don't want regular viewers like fucking my shit up. Like you gotta pay me to fuck my game up. You did the Twitch thing and and damn it's so chaotic. Okay. I should I should try to catch your stream. Are you are you doing that right now on your stream? I should I should watch how you do it. See how I like it. You know what I mean? Cause I might not like it. I'm a very I'm a very, um, I don't know what's the word for it, like neurotic type person. I like to control my shit. Okay, where was the centaur shit again? There was like a centaur, uh, yeah, centaur blood. But you would recommend you to play the game first before doing that. I don't spoil. It. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, so I shouldn't watch it. I should just play it. Okay, that's a really good recommendation. Cause, like, sometimes you get your shit. You can get have stuff spoiled for you, uh, unless you play it yourself. Yeah, I, I think I might do that. Welcome home, sir. Damn. Yeah, I like, I love games like that. So thank you for the recommendation, Valky. I love games where you have to count your supplies. You, um, you have to like build your house, prepare it for danger, shit like that. You know, I think like it's like, it's like the SimCity uh, concept, you know, like SimCity is all about preparing your city for the most worst case scenario and having like your city like thrive. Yeah, I like games like that for sure. You can design your own house. I would love that. Holy shit. Oh, that would be so cool. Designing your own house is my type of shit. We have the same taste. I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah, I will. Uh, but it's a PC game, right? Is it on PlayStation? I'm actually thinking of like getting a new PC maybe at the end of this year. So I'll have like two PCs. Because my current PC is not bad, but I could use a more powerful PC, if you know what I mean. Like, I want to I wanna get a PC that can have ray tracing and, like, um, play, like, games on max setting. Because I actually got this PC, like, this PC was cutting edge, like, four years ago. It's the GTX 1080 Ti, right? It was, like, the greatest graphics card of its time. But like now it's not, it, it, it can't even do ray tracing. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I might get a new PC at the end of this year, but I'm going to keep my options open. Oh, it's on PS5 and Xbox. Oh my, okay. I'm going to check it out. Seven days to die. PS5 and Xbox. Okay. What, what's the, what's the score for the game? Did it do very well? Not that that matters, you know, if it's a good game. As long as the single player portion of the game is great, I'm down, right? But the single portion of the game's gotta be good. Because I don't fuck with shitty ass games. Ooh, Metro Ticket. Yeah, I love to populate my house. 
you recommend to 10 friends they are they're all addicted to it damn okay you like uh i'll probably do it on stream but like i'm really gonna emphasize on the single player part of it i'm i'm only gonna play it mainly if it's very single player focus because i don't really care about playing with friends man i hate people <laughs> I hate people. You play it solo? Okay, I'm gonna play it solo. Thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. I'm gonna look it up. Is it like a new game? Is, is, is it on sale or anything like that? Damn, hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy it solo. For sure. Because if there's like, if, if it's like, if it's anything close to me like doing shit like this, I would, uh, I would love to do that. Yeah, I love decorating my stuff. Hey, what's up, Resper? Oh my god, oh, it's your back. Yeah, I am back. Holy shit. You are like a Twitch partner. Were you always a Twitch partner, bruh? I don't remember having any Twitch partner friends. Damn, I'm so jealous. Can I have your viewers, please? Can you give me like half your viewers? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I don't think so, but it was way back in 2018. Wait, you got your Twitch partner in 2018? Can I be honest with you, Resper? I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. Uh, and this is just a heads up because like, I don't think a lot of people know, but I was actually missing for like six months to a year. I took time off from streaming because I was getting really burnt out of it. So I'm gonna, can I be honest with you, Resper? I don't remember who you are. I just see your your um Twitch um your Twitch partner and that's got me really excited. Cause I I I'm I just wanna see if you can hook me up. How's it going, Resper? Damn. Where did we meet, Resper? I don't remember. It's okay, fair enough. But you drew me before for a redeem from you and I still have it. Oh, did I? Did you go by another name back in the day? Wait, are you even a Twitch uh, partner? Because you got the Twitch partner like tick next to your name, but I don't even know if that means you're a Twitch partner. Let me see. Oh, you're verified. Okay, wait, let me check your channel. I don't remember who you are. Dude, I have no idea who you are, Resper. Damn. How do I become a Twitch partner like you? I'm gonna have mad amount of views, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm now on your page. I'm now on your Twitch page. Checking you out. Okay, let me see your Instagram. Maybe I can recognize your face. Wait, are you Princess Looney Tunes? Oh, wait, no. You're not. You're someone else. Um, I think I kind of remember you, but not really. Damn. How do I become a Twitch partner? I kind of know, right? You kind of have to have like, I don't know, like, like 75, uh, regular viewers. Oh, was friends with her before? Oh, you mean like Princess Looney Tunes? You know who she is? What's up, Nuka Cola? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You like my house? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What's up, Nuka Cola? Resper says, I feel like it was just the right time and right place, not gonna lie. I streamed every day PUBG before and burned me out. Holy shit. So, do you still stream a lot, Res? We used to play before. You and Princess, huh? Wow, okay. Damn, I don't remember how we met, Resper, but. Like, um. You stream only two to three days now. Okay, cool. So, uh, man, 
I didn't know I had like a Twitch uh, partner for a friend. I I think I only had one, and his name is was Nato Potato, and he doesn't stream anymore. What's up, Nuka Cola? Do you like my house? You like the decorations? You like what you see? It's a lot of work has gone into this, man. I think I should probably go out and do a mission pretty soon, but I want to see if there's anything else I can decorate my house with. Maybe I wasn't a partner before when I visited. I don't know. Maybe. But congratulations uh, on being a partner. I would love to be a partner. I've always wanted to be a partner, but... You know what's the crazy part? Like, back then, like, when people would ask me why I want to be a Twitch partner, I would say, oh, because, like, I want the encoding, right? I want my viewers to be able to have, like, the stream at 1080p, 720p. I want them to have options. But now with Twitch affiliates like myself, we get that for free already. And then the other excuse was, like, oh, like, I want to have, like, more e emoticons i want to have like animated emoticons stuff like that but they kind of gave it to the affiliates like i don't think there's much of a difference between like the perks of like a partner and a, and and an affiliate except the fact that you are you have this like really cool sub badge with the tick on it man i really wanted that for a long time but part of me wasn't willi willing to work really hard for it. Like I like, I love streaming, but I wasn't willing to sell my soul and like do it for 12 hours every single day. You know what I mean? So yeah. Resper says, to be honest, that's not too much of a difference and much better if you have a solid community. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But it, it really, it really motivates you, I guess, in some way. I guess when I first started streaming, it motivated me to really have, like, to really become an affiliate. And then eventually when I became an affiliate, I didn't give a fuck anymore. I wanted to be a partner. Who knows if I become a partner, I might not even give a shit either. I think that's the God's honest truth. Like, I probably wouldn't give a fuck. I just, like, want to chase something. I think it's always like good to like have something to chase, maybe something to look forward to. And like, um, man, being a Twitch partner is like the dream. But you know what's crazy about being a Twitch partner? A Twitch partner doesn't like ensure that you maintain all your viewers. You still gotta like put in the work. You still gotta put in the hours, stuff like that. And you know, like when I quit streaming was um for like, half a year to a year it was because i was really jaded with like the whole concept of streaming to begin with like i think like i felt like um it was like i was kind of losing the, the the love for the game and now when i'm back streaming i kind of like not want to care about the viewers or like the popularity but i would be lying if i said i didn't I would be lying. I, I really want to make this successful, but at the same time, I don't want to sell my soul. Yeah. Resper says 12 hours is so tiring. You only do three to four hours now. Yo, me too, man. I think like the longest streams I would do was eight to 12. I was playing Sekiro, Dark Souls, like those games you can really stretch it out. It's very motivating to have a goal. It's not, you have to take break too. People kind of move on at some point. Yeah, I think I, I think the viewers I had initially when I started streaming were like totally different viewers than the viewers I have today. Like some definitely stick around. Like I have some loyal uh, ones like Cineki, Helix, like the really ride and die type of viewers. But I think you're right. I think the uh, viewers eventually like get bored or life happens and they have to go to school or they move to a different state that have like a different time zone so the usual time where they are free to watch you is like not there so they they don't watch you anymore it's kind of fucked up yeah i had like i had some i had a, like a really loyal viewer um she lives in texas but she moved to florida so I don't, I haven't heard from her since. 
It's kind of sad. Respirators, this is the fun part, not gonna lie. You gotta meet people and learn from each other. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't like learning from people. I love teaching people. <laughs> Telling them what to do. <laughs> because I'm a boss bitch. You know what I mean? It happens to me during pandemic, everyone just poof after pandemic over. Oh. Oh, right. That's because like during COVID, people were watching a lot of streams, right? Damn. Damn, the damage for this is crazy. Alien Disintegrator does like 79 damage. Okay, let's compare that with with the Lincoln's Repeater. Peter. Peter Griffin. Slayos, yeah. Thank you. Um, Damn, what do you stream nowadays, Vesper? Resper, you're like a VTuber, right? Valky is also another VTuber. So you guys can like probably link up and suck each other's dick. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, do you still do art? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I stopped doing art for a while. Yeah, I stopped doing art for a while, but uh, I just got bored of drawing. I drew a lot for the past, like, I don't know, 20 years. So I don't draw on my free time, but if I really wanted to, I can draw really, really well. Your one inch dick would be fire. One inch, two inch, it's not the size, it's how you use it. Damn, shock baton would look really cool if I display it. I'm kind of looking for stuff to decorate my house with. You know what I mean? And if you're new to the channel, you, you like my content so far, I'd appreciate you uh, hit that follow button. Where should I put the shock baton, man? It's gotta look like cool. It's gotta, it, it looks pretty glowy. Oh, I probably can shelve it around here. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Shut up, Wadsworth. You're a VTuber. What's up with VTubers, man? I never got it. I never got it. Maybe because I'm too beautiful. I gotta show my face. I'm too beautiful to hide the goods. You know what I mean? I'm beautiful, baby. Oh, I can put it inside here. Ooh, that would look kind of cool. I kind of wish it glows in the dark. Because when you use it, it actually glows. But when you're not using it, it doesn't. Um, let me see. <laughs> Valky says, hi, I'm new. I love your content. I would love to follow. Oh, thank you. You're too nice. You're making me diabetic. Resper says, I feel like the most tiring part is trying to put yourself out there and your imposter syndrome pops out. Oh. I think I initially had imposter syndrome when I was streaming. I, I I always felt like whenever anyone appeared in my chat, I felt like, do you like me? Do you like me? Can you stay? stay? Can you stick around? But I got over it. I'm so comfortable with streaming right now that I don't give a fuck. When people come in, they leave. I'm like, yo, peace out. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. You know, that's how I feel. Um, Resper says, I just turned into a VTuber because I got tired in putting so much effort in my appearance every day. And I just want to play. You don't have to put any, uh, you don't have to put any, uh, effort in your appearance. You just be like me. Just roll out of bed, take a shower. I, I always take a shower before I stream. So I feel fresh. Especially if you live in Southeast Asia, where it's hot as shit. You're sweating all the fucking time. Take a shower, you know, like, you know, whenever I see like those really popular female streamers stream and they got to cake their face full of makeup just to look really good. Like people like Amiru. I don't know. Have you guys, do you guys know about Amiru or even someone like really popular, like a uh, Pokemon? Like, holy shit. The pressure to like look good all the time is insane because they kind of know instinctively deep down inside 
that a lot of coomers watch them. So they gotta keep them like chubby by uh fucking you know looking mad beautiful. Oh shit! I think I took all this stuff. Did I save? Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Did I save? Did I save? Yes, I did. Very good. Um, we are melting so much in Philippines. Yeah, it's probably not a smart move to wear makeup in uh, Southeast Asia. Unless you're under air conditioning. You know Amiru, she's a cosplayer before she became a streamer. Yeah, I don't get cosplayers, man. I feel cosplayers are narcissistic. You know? And I, I say this with a lot of love because I have a lot of viewers that are cosplayers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they would come up to me and say, Yo, Oats, do you ever think about cosplaying? No. No, motherfucker. No, I don't like cosplaying. I like being one person myself. That's kind of a fucked up thing to say, right? To a cosplayer. <laughs> I used to date a cosplayer. She was insane, bro. Some wrong with her. A uh, VTuber for me is more to protect me. You're not that famous, Valky. Nobody's gonna remember you. Just like nobody's gonna remember me. To a degree, I guess so, but people have different reasons. Damn. I don't know. I, I guess like initially, like if I, if I can stream without a webcam, I would, right? So the truth is the reason why I got a webcam anyway, was because I wanted to be successful streaming. When I first started streaming, I tried to min max every single thing I did. I tried to get a good webcam. I tried to get good lighting. I tried to get a good green screen. I tried to get a really great microphone setup. Um, I wanted to really do well. And one of the things that I learned from really better streamers than me was that having a webcam gives you an advantage. People would more than likely click on your stream because they see a face and they, they can like check your reactions and stuff. And that's why I did it. That's why I got a webcam. But maybe I'm just like you. Like I honestly, if I, if, if there was an option that people can, can still watch my stream, but I don't have to show my face. Yeah, I think that would be cool. You know what would be, would be the dream? The dream of streaming would actually be not talking at all, not having a webcam, and just playing the game like a vegetable. Because that's how I grew up playing games. I, I sit on the couch, I kick back, I have drool coming out the side of my mouth, and I play games like this. Like a fucking vegetable. That's the ideal situation. Um... Valky says, if I'm a guy, sure, I would show my face. Why? Why? If you're a girl, you can show your face too. Why can't you show your face? Resper says the webcam is more of reactions and people want a human connection for some. There's a few super famous streamers without cams, but they're that super good at the game. Oh, you're right. I think there's like some people that like really are super OG. That like people recognize them just from their voice. And they like their person. They have such a great, they have such great charisma. They don't need a face cam. Like one of my favorite streamers, his name is like Aris. Uh, his channel is Avoiding the Puddle. And he has the shittiest webcam I've ever se seen. It's so fucking bad. Right? But people find him very entertaining because his, his commentary is like a on another level. Just on another level. This dude is really cooking, man. Hey, if I miss your message, I miss your message, Valky. You guys type too fast. You get stalked a lot when I was younger, and it already put fear in me. Oh. So you gotta get over that fear, bro. You gotta get over that fear. You gotta, like, suck it up. And, like, you know what? I'm not gonna let this stalker dictate the rest of my life. And you're just gonna have a webcam. You know, don't let the stalker um make you feel like you have to hide. Fuck the stalker, man. Oh shit, I don't think it fits. Ah! It doesn't fit. 
It's too big. That's what she said. It's too big to put this kettle prod up your ass. Shit. Where do I put this? Looks pretty cool. I want to display this, but I don't know where. I don't know. I guess it might look pretty cool. Um, inside the workbench, it kind of looks like, um, kind of looks like a soldering iron. You know, the ones that you use in like a uh, school when you're doing electronics, like woodshop. You're just protecting yourself from trouble. Yeah. You know, I don't know about that. Maybe you're, you're, uh, maybe the truth is, you might be preventing yourself from um, getting over uh, the fear. You gotta overcome the fear, uh, Valky. And I say this with love. You know I'm right. I only speak the truth. I always drop truth like diamonds. And you guys better scramble to pick it up. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Okay, it's kind of... Oh... Uh, Fucked up right now. You're overcame the fear by not showing your face to the world. Okay, then maybe maybe baby steps. Maybe baby steps. Maybe you're right. Maybe you gotta start small. You know? Maybe being a VTuber is like one of those things. Hope that stalker will be jailed for a hundred years. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think at some point, like, all of us was a stalker before, you know? I remember, like, seeing a really beautiful girl, like, many years ago, and kind of, like, I wasn't following her, but I was kind of walking the same direction she walks, because I was so amazed of how good-looking she was, so I kept looking at her, and I was like, I, it felt like I was a fly towards a, a, a flame. But then I, when I realized she was going to a different direction than I was, like, like the place I got to go was different. Uh, I, I went, I went my own direction. But when she was walking the same direction as me, I kind of like, I don't know. Was I following her? Was I stalking her? I don't know. Maybe I was, but I wasn't trying to, you know? Shit. The counterbalance for this is so weird. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll look better not inside. Yeah, maybe you're good looking, Valky. Maybe your stalker uh, just wanted to show you some love. But you took it the wrong way. Now you're super scared. Man, I would be, um, I don't know, like kind of full of myself if I had a stalker. I actually kind of did back in middle school to high school. I had a girl who was really in love with me. Um, now that I think about it, she was actually kind of fine. She was a little bit chubby. Like when I say a little bit, like just a little bit, like she was like f five to 10% chubby. But if I, uh, I don't know, I wish I smashed when I was in high school, but I didn't. I was more ippity uppity, man. I had like, my standards were too high. I didn't give her a chance. But I should have smashed. I think she even wrote me a love letter. And then years later, my mom threw that shit away because my mom is a jealous bitch. Always hating on a player. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You know what I mean? Damn, my house looks so fucking tight. Get the fuck out of my way, Wadsworth. Valky says mine was more of a classmate I know. But we are not that close. We are like, okay, bye after school. This guy appears in a mall I was in. And he keeps appearing everywhere I go. And it's not even one time. It's all the time wherever I go to the mall. Wow. That dude has dedication, man. Man, I don't have that type of dedication uh, for a girl. Like, if a girl, uh, if I say hi to a girl and she doesn't say hi back, I'm like, you're lost, bitch. You know? Damn, so what happened? Like, uh, did you confront him? 
Oh, did he? Was he even charming? Or did like was he cute? Did he say like uh, what's up? What up, girl? I see. I I see you at the mall, the same mall I met. You want to go get some um, uh, ice cream? I think a lot of guys like they, they they want things to happen, but they don't want to confront the girl, so they resort to stalking. They don't like kind of like learn to take the L by just asking the girl out. And if the girl says no, like it's kind of over, right? But a lot of guys don't want to take the L. So they end up like being really creepy and shit. Like, like, like kind of like, you know, appearing all the time, shit like that. Appearing like a friend trying to be like helpful and shit. I think like I have a policy whenever I like a girl. I let her know immediately, like, I think she's cute or I think she's hot. And I always ask her if she has a boyfriend right off the bat. It was a pretty bad practice because when I work at a company, there was a really cute colleague and I was like, hey, what up, girl? And it, that's that's not good because, like, when you're working, you can't fraternize. It's, it's not professional. It was kind of fucked up. I shouldn't have done that. But it was like a habit out of practice. Like, I always let girls know, like, yo, what's up? Like, uh, you're a pretty girl. I like that. You know, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But when it does, holy shit. Jackpot, man. Oh, you have a boyfriend, dad. Everyone in your class knew. He's just average. You got scared. Damn. So what happened? Do you, uh, do you report to the police or did you beat his ass? The crazy, the, the creepy part about stalkers is they don't have like self awareness to stop doing what they're doing because they're making people uncomfortable. You know? Like at least have the self awareness to like kind of, kind of see like this is not going anywhere. You know? I think, uh, obsession is a real thing. Like my best friend from high school. He's like so in love with this girl that he's been in love with her for the past like fucking 20 years and she doesn't even know he exists. I think he, she probably does know he exists, but I don't know. He doesn't want to make a move. I always tell him like, let her know, like ask her out, learn to take the L. If she says no, like, so what? Suck it up. Be a man. Just take the L. Like, a, a lot of advice I, I give guys when it comes to, like, talking to girls is, like, take the L. Whenever she doesn't want anything to do with you, take the L. Take the L like a man. You know what I mean? You told your friend and she confronted him and he stopped. Aw, oh, that's, like, so basic, bro. That is so basic. I thought he was gonna, like, uh, try even harder. That doesn't give you an excuse to be a VTuber, bro. I thought he did some fuck shit like pee at your front door to mark his spot or some shit like that. And that like changed your life forever, right? Come on. That's not an excuse to be a VTuber. Gotta show your face. Uh, After we graduate, we all lost contact. And this guy that stalked me found me after years we were adults and told me he tried to find me for years. Wow. At least he was honest, though, right? So are you guys still in touch? Or did you have to block him? I don't know. That's kind of, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of sweet. I, I, I actually uh, got in contact with the, uh, my high school crush. And I told her, like, um, when I was in high school with her, I had a really big crush on her. But I, I was so afraid to talk to her. And she appreciated it. I think she's married right now. You know? So, you never know. At least he shot his shot, right? And then he tried to court me. And then I said, no, he's not my cup of tea because he's too extreme. He talks like an anime. Yo, how the fuck do you talk like an anime? Omae wa mo shinderu. Me talk like that? Damn, that's so cringe. Damn, that's kind of crazy. Like, very extreme. 
Like, I think, like, maybe he's a lost boy. He just doesn't know how to be, um, uh, cool. A lot of people are like that, you know? Like, they don't know how to be cool, so they try to, like, be kind of extra a little bit. Um, I don't know if at any point of time I was like that. I think I might have been a little extra when I was a teenager in school. It took me a lot of time to kind of mellow out. But, uh, I can't fault him for trying. He brags to me how many girls he slept with. Oh, uh, it's a guy thing. A uh, guys, when, whenever guys, um, whenever guys, like, sleep around with a lot of girls, it's a kind of a source of pride. But who you share that pride with is very important. If, if you tell a girl you're trying to court that you sleep around with a lot of girls, it's a very bad move. He's a fucking idiot. Like, if he wants to brag about sleeping with girls, he should talk about it with his guy friends. Or people he doesn't... He's not trying to hook up with. But it's a really... It's a guy thing. Um, I think I personally have a little bit of that too. Like, it's kind of like a a numbers thing. I think it's kind of tied to your biolo a guy's biological instinct to spread their seed as far and wide as possible. And if you have, like, a lot of partners before... It kind of like, it kind of denotes your value as a man. So he's trying to like value signal to you. Like he's a valuable person because like a lot of like girls are willing to sleep with him. But it's, it's kind of like an insecure move. You should never ever have to tell people that you are valuable. You should, you should show people that you're valuable just by being chill. That's the most like, secure position so what he did was like str strategically fucking stupid right like the best way i know um like the best strategy i know as a guy to get a girl is just to let the girl know you're interested but not even chase after her if you chase after a girl it's over right it's over the way of, uh, like, a uh, courtship works in the real world, if you want to be really successful, is you gotta let the girl chase you. So you get, you just gotta know, like, you're, you just gotta let the girl know you're interested and make plans to go out. But if she's kind of pulling back, you don't wanna chase. You kinda wanna let it go. You might not even wanna talk to her for a while. That's how it works. So, yeah, he kinda fucked up. Because like uh, it, it's a it's a guy sort of thing to have a sense of pride to have uh, all them bitches he slept with, right? Because I I mean I personally have that too. Like I think back, yeah, I still got it. You know, it's like shit like that. But yeah, letting the girl know you're doing like you you do you did that is so fucking dumb. Uh, but I was like, no way. He's way too cringe person for someone to fall in love with but you got to think about it if he actually slept with a lot of girls he probably got a game a little bit at least a little bit of game i don't otherwise he's probably lying you know there's like a famous quote um about guys and girls and i think this is a it's a good quote and it's something related to like courtship, like how guys, um, want girls to be and how girls want guys to be, right? So the quote is, girls fall in love with what they hear and guys fall in love with what they see. So that encourages girls to put on makeup and kind of like pretend that they're more beautiful than they are. And it forces guys to lie. And not tell the girl the truth. You know? So that that's a very interesting thing. So if you want to be successful in dating, uh, depending on like who you are, like if you're a guy, you got to learn how to lie. And if you're a w girl, you have to learn to put on makeup. It's, it's so simple. It's, all, it's so simple, it's almost crazy. It's so crazy simple. You know. By the way, I I just I, I just have to put a disclaimer out there. I'm not like a fucking expert or anything, right? Most of the time when I talk, I'm just talking out of my ass, 
because I love to talk out of my ass. So uh, do take what I say, everything I say with a grain of salt. You know, I'm not the paragon of truth, even though I, I keep saying that I am. <laughs> so, you know, just, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe what you're trying to post is a little too spicy for chat. Yeah, could be a little too hot for TV. So I'm sorry, uh, my, my, my auto mods are a little, uh, fucking dictatorial. Kind of like a North Korea up in here, you know? Okay, let's see. Is there anything else I can display? I guess I can try to maybe put the super sledge here or something. I just want to fill my, my house with shit, you know? Holy shit, look at this thing. Holy crap, this thing looks so cool. Wow. Can I whisper you? Uh, sure. You can whisper me on, uh, uh, I think Twitch. I, I, I don't know if I have my whispers turned on. Yo, ever since like Dr. Disrespect got fucked up for like chatting with minors and shit, dude, that is so scary. I don't want to be caught ever doing that. So if you are a minor or anything, or I, I I'm going to make a rule. I'm not going to, I'm not going to whisper anyone. Uh, I DM'd you on Twitch to see if you can watch. I don't know if I want to look at that. Cause you never know. Bro, we t we're talking about SimCity 3000. You think I'm a minor? You never know, bro. You never know. <laughs> Dude, you can never be too careful, bro. It's wild out there. Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> tisk, tisk. Dude, I don't trust people nowadays, man. You know, like, Dr. Disrespect must be a fucking horny-ass bastard, man. Because he was, like... Remember when he has his DMs leaked and he was talking to, like, all types of girls? He was talking to, like, sex workers, too? That was crazy, bro. Holy shit. Like, what a way to throw away your career. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Imagine throwing away your career just to get some poon. You need to overcome your fears. Hey, you overcome your fears first. And then I'll overcome mine. Dude, that's crazy, right? Like, um, the way Dr. Disrespect was caught was like, Twitch was actually monitor, monitor, monitoring his whispers, his DMs. That's crazy. You know, like, is that even legal? Can you, like, read someone's messages? But apparently the dude was, like, fucking... I don't know. Chatting with minors and shit. How about I put it on Discord if you're afraid? Then I delete it after you read it. Uh, can you write it public? So that we are not having the conversation one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Yo, having conversations one-on-one -on -one is fucking wild, bro. In today's era. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, you can post it on like a general chat in my uh, public Discord. Yeah, I, I'll read it. Okay, okay, let me read it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what you wrote. Like, for example, we we're in a restaurant catching up our lives and he asked if I'm single. I said, yeah, why? He immediately stand up, walks around and says, oh my God, and even talk to one of the waitress and say, can you believe she's single? I was embarrassed and then into a conversation, he says he's going to card me. Oh, so I think he's more of a fucking performative type of dude, man. You know what he needs? He needs to like go into theater. Yeah, you can delete it. Yeah, you can delete it. Yeah, uh, it's like he should go into theater. He seems like, um, yeah, he seems like, I, I think like this guy is not that bad. He's just like really into himself. Like he's, I mean, 
to a certain extent, all of us are narcissists in our own way, but he seems very performative. Like, he seems like he's very dramatic with shit. So that's a good and a bad thing, right? The bad thing about this type of guys is, like, because he's so dramatic, if shit goes wrong in your relationship, or even if you're just friends, he's going to be extra dramatic about it. You know what I mean? So it's going to be, like, it's going to be pretty wild getting to know this guy. Yeah, he seems very dramatic. Yeah, how is that conversation blocked? Wait, what did you say? Wait, did you delete it? Uh, oh, you deleted it. I don't, I don't know exactly what you said and why it was blocked. Yeah, my automod is like, um, just maybe thought it was too hot for TV. I don't know. I think the algorithm is probably fucked, so I'll apologize on behalf of my automod. But my automod does like a pretty good job. I haven't gotten any like racist shit said to me in a long time because of it. Is this the right way up? Or maybe it isn't. Or maybe this is the right way up. Oh, you got to hold it like that. Like kind of like the the gun in um what you might call it like Alien the movie Aliens. Starring Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, I don't know. No curse words, right? Maybe my Automod doesn't like stalker stories. <laughs> Damn. So what happened to him? When was the last time you uh, spoke to him? Oh shit. My Gatling gun. Oh, this is cool. This is pretty badass. Yeah, when was the last time you spoke to him? And maybe your Facebook or your Instagram is like too public. I actually got rid of my Facebook like, um, I think six years ago. I deactivated my Facebook. I didn't delete it because I still want to keep the photos and stuff, but I deactivated my Facebook. I de, I un, I made everyone unfollow me on Instagram. That's how I keep my anonymity when I stream. I don't know where to display this, to be honest. Um, maybe downstairs. Let's take a look and see if there's a spot downstairs. I mean, I'm a people pleaser, right? So I told him no, and I said it's okay to be friends only. <laughs> Damn. So did he take that as a challenge to try even harder? He says okay, but he keeps pushing. When I got another boyfriend, he becomes angry at you. We had an argument and we stopped contacting for good this time. Wow. That's crazy. Somehow after years later, I see this guy start stalking me. Wait, so is the so like even after all that he still pursues you? Holy shit. If this guy does like, if this guy put his mind to something, he would have been like Jeff Bezos. He would have been another billionaire. Holy crap. I, I think like the, there's a quote about like um, a rejection. Rejection breeds obsession. So whenever you're rejected from someone or something, I think it's like human instinct to be kind of obsessed about it. It's kind of like when I broke up with my ex-girlfriend, like, um, I didn't really, I didn't really like her that much, but because she broke up with me, like she rejected me first, I became a little obsessed. So I was obsessed for a couple of months to try to get her back. But afterwards I realized she was just a bitch. Cause I was actually complaining about her to, uh, my boss back in the day. And my boss was like, hey, it doesn't seem like you love this girl. You're always talking shit about her. And I was like, yo, you're probably right. Maybe I, I don't like this girl, but maybe because she rejected me, I want her back. And maybe when I get her back, I will probably dump her. You know? So it was probably something like that. Yeah. I think that was probably the honest truth. 
was like I didn't like being rejected. So whenever someone gets rejected, I think like you can see like in humans and stuff, they get obsessed with it. I think it's like a survival instinct. The survival instinct is to not get rejected. That's why people become people pleasers because people don't want to get rejected. I think rejection is like a very painful thing for the brain. So whenever people experience it, they uh, kind of want to like do the opposite. Instead of like backing away, they kind of feel like, oh, I, I should pursue them even harder. You know, because if I if I get them to like me or if I get them to be with me, I won. And now I can accept myself. I think it's like self-acceptance. I think he is someone who cannot accept himself unless he wins the acceptance of like certain people. And you just unfortunately happen to be that certain person. Yo, I'm like fucking Dr. Phil, bro. I better be paid for this shit. I better have my own syndicated TV show. What you need to do is... You know, like Dr. Phil, he always says that. You need to get your life together, okay? You need to stop taking drugs, okay? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Like, I think, like, the number one thing I, I had as uh, when I was, like, when I, I try to court a girl is, like, I'm, I'm going to try to be as cool as possible when she rejects me. So I'm not going to push it. I'm going to, like, be like, all right, you know. And, like, the, the correct mindset to have whenever you get rejected by anyone is, like, to actually, like, think that it's the person's loss. Like, oh, you don't want a piece of this? Your loss, girl. You know, you got to think like that. That's what I think. Oh, Mr. Sandman. Bring me your dream. Bam, 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 bam. Make him the cutest I've ever seen. So you have a boyfriend right now, huh, Valky? How, how did you meet him? Where did you meet him? And how did you meet him? How did he court you? And how did it work? You have a husband now. Wow, that's that's awesome. How long have you been married? That's awesome. I have a lot of viewers that are actually like uh, in really stable, great relationships. Fuck, where's this for coming out? Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Ooh, I think I can push it inside. Oh fuck, it's kind of stuck. Why is it stuck? Okay. I can hear the dinosaur, it's pretty cool. Look at my dog, he always looks at me, he's so cute. He got a he got a funny looking eye. Probably gotta send him to the vet. Three years, congratulations. That's awesome. Three years. So uh how is uh married life? Okay, I think that this is as far as the thing can go. Great so far. Cool. I hope it stays that way. It's always nice to believe in love. I think I at one point I saw like a husband and wife at a, like a Starbucks or like coffee bean and they weren't looking at each other. They were like looking at their phones and they were just like drinking coffee separately. And one of them made a comment and the other per the other one got irritated. It was kind of interesting. I love to people watch whenever I'm outside. You know? We've been together for nine years. Holy shit. That's a prison sentence. How is it like surviving nine years? Long distance for three years first. Holy shit. Where's your husband from? Is he from Vietnam? Oh, hello. I'm a Vietnam boy. I, I would like a... Singapore girl. Oh shit, he's from the UK. 
So is he a white guy? English. I speak English. I'm from the UK. Does he know about Games Workshop? Warhammer 40,000. Holy oh shit, he's a white dude. Nice. Damn. Score. I like white girls. Does he have any sister? Does he have a sister? <laughs> I don't know. You need to ask him. Damn. White girls. I have a thing for white girls. He's more like a mix. Oh, what? Mix. Uh, uh, what does he mix? Of everything. Okay. But he has to look more like something, right? Like, even if you're a mix, you got to look like either more black or you got to look more Asian. Or I think there's probably like ones that like are kind of in between like uh, Eurasian, like Asian, but European sort of thing. The UK. I tell you what, mate. I bet your fucking head in, eh? Does he talk like that? And every time you gotta give him a bottle of water. Eurasian? Oh, he's okay. So he's mixed. He, he doesn't talk like that. What do you mean? He's from the UK. That's how people talk. Right? He got a Singaporean accent. Damn. You fucked him up good, man. Damn. Singaporean accent. Damn, you corrupted a pure white boy from the UK. So that's a crime. Look at that, that's so badass. Got my Gatling laser. Got my buttercup toy I stole from the mothership. Got the dino toy. I love how my house is coming along. It's like really unique. Yeah, the raw from the dino, right? Actually, the dino toy is from uh, Fallout New Vegas. But somehow I think it made its way into the Mothership Zeta DLC. Kind of wonder if the modders did that. That's really cool. He got a Singaporean. What does your husband do for fun? Like, what's he like? I'm trying to see if I can be friends with him. And you didn't answer my question. I asked, does he have a sister? And is she hot and single? <laughs> Oh shit, this ripper has like blood stains on it. It's kind of nasty. Sorry, no sister. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Only a brother, huh? Brother. Can I put this in here? It's kind of badass, huh? Ah, oh, fuck. We have the same horoscope as you, and he's an artist too. Interesting, cool. Like, what kind of artist? Like a fine artist or a concept artist? Illustrator? Digital artist? That's crazy. Same horoscope. So he's an Aquarius. Aquarius. You know, like, actually, like, we have different ages in terms of, like, um, eras. In, in the world like I think like during Jesus era it was the, the Pisces era the like the like the predominant astrology that was ruling that era was the fish Pisces but apparently we're moving towards the age of Aquarius which is like the age of like wisdom and understanding and you know freedom true freedom that type of shit yeah so you better recognize that is my time to shine. He can draw everything, so I don't know which kind he is. Oh, okay. Oh, but he doesn't do art for a living, right? He likes to draw original characters too. Cool. But does he uh does he do art for a living or is he just a poser? <laughs> my guess is he's just a poser. No, he don't do art for a living, but he draws for a hobby. Oh, he a poser. You gotta put your, you gotta put your, uh, your money on the line. Do it for a living. And then you have my undivided respect. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta apologize. I love talking shit. 
I love to talk shit. It's like my favorite hobby, man. He could do it for a living? Really? How sure are you? I actually, f I actually don't feel very optimistic about the art industry. I feel like the art industry is like kind of dead. Because like, AI has kind of taken over so much that it's kind of impossible to be like, like to work so hard as an artist and like compete against AI. No way. I don't think I want to put the shovel there. He did try to sell his arts, but he gave up after. Wow, this is a little bit sad. Why did he give up? Because no one was buying it? But doesn't that, isn't that how it works? Usually, like, you don't sell your art for a while. And then eventually you get, like, traction. Uh, like, he's not a business-minded person. Oh, people buy. Okay. I'm not a very business-minded person either. You know, one of the things, like, um, I, I realized when I came to Singapore was, like, um, this is a very Singaporean thing. Is Singaporeans love to monetize their hobbies. Like whenever people find out you're doing something for fun, they always ask if you can make money doing it. That's the thing I kind of hate <laughs> about Singaporeans. I mean, not all Singaporeans do this. I, I know I'm generalizing, but you know what I mean, right? It's like, they always ask you like, can you like, you know, can you make money from this? I don't know why they always do that. There's like something very annoying about it. Oh, I think it would look cool here. I think he wants to draw for fun, like don't want it to be a job for him. Oh, I do agree with that. If he's doing it for fun, he's a true artist. Like don't um, monetize your passion. Because monetizing your passion kills the passion. I think that was what killed my love for streaming was I did it and then I wanted to monetize it. And then every time I streamed and I, I look at the numbers and I wasn't happy and I stopped streaming because of that. Now I'm back streaming, but I have more realistic expectations. Now I do it more for the love of the game. So I, I respect that. Yeah, if he's doing it because he uh, he really loves it and he doesn't want to like ruin it, I respect that. Yeah, I really respect that. That's really cool. Um, Like once in a while, close friends will ask for commission like he doesn't mind. But if it's a job, I don't think he wants that. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. That's a true artist. A mark of a true artist for me is someone who's willing to do it not for money. It's There's very few people who do that. Because I know way too many artists that do it because they want the attention or they want money. And I don't think it's bad. It's a bad thing to want money. But if you're going to corrupt like a, a craft like art and you're going to like go and try to make it about money, it's kind of fucked up. You know? It's like if you love money so much, you might as well just be a banker. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Can I fit this gun here? I don't know if it'll fit. It's like the guns don't want to overlap each other. I had to kill this cowboy dude at the, at the mothership um, thing in order to get his gun. Oh, I didn't kill him actually. I think one of the aliens killed him and I was so happy that he died. Because I get to take his gun and his costume, his cowboy costume. And his cowboy hat is actually being displayed in my kitchen right now in the game. The decor feels like Red Dead 2, right? Yeah, uh, it's because I found this poster uh, of... Um, I think it's John Wilkes Booth or something. The guy who murdered Lincoln, I think. Yeah, so this is like a... I guess an homage to the Wild West. I really love the Wild West. 
Like I love like Western movies, like with uh, Clint Eastwood, or like Part Three of Back to the Future when they go back to the Wild West. I really love the Wild West. I like uh, my favorite TV show of all time is Westworld, where it's like um a bunch of like there's a theme park that it's like so realistic that it looks exactly like the Wild West, and there's a bunch of robots that like run it. It's super good. If you have HBO, I highly recommend watching it. Damn, that looks really cool. Oh, that looks really natural. I like that. Yeah. I think it's... I'm, I'm kind of like a reverse weeaboo. You know, like how a lot of like white people, they love Asian culture. But I love like... um, I, I love Western culture. I love guns. I love um, hamburgers. Hello, my name is Tanaka. Cowboy Tanaka. <laughs> West Abu, right? I don't remember if I watched it before. It feels like I do. Westworld? Yeah, so Westworld is about like... like uh, the, it's, a, it's a playground where rich people go to because they get to live their darkest fantasies going there. Because they get to like enact whatever they want to do to the the robots that are exactly like human beings. If that makes sense. Hey, what's up, Emo Smarth? If you watch Westworld, you would remember it. Oh, that's so mean. Mean to say that. Maybe she watched it like uh a long time ago. Oh fuck. What's up, Emo Smarth? Do you did you watch uh Westworld? Oh man, that's fucking mean, man. Ammo Smart wants that smoke. What's up, Ammo? Westworld is really good because there's a, like a lot of Gnostic elements about it. it. It kind of like, like, you know, they are actually exploring the robots of Westworld. They are actually exploring us as humans. Like a lot of humans, like the thing that they, they commented on in the TV show was like the robots would have a closed loop, right? They would have a loop system where they would wake up every day, they would go to work, they would do this thing, and then they would go back to bed. But it's exactly just like us. Exactly. It's kind of crazy. And it, it like explores a lot of concept about what it, what it means to be human. What it means to be sentient. It's a really good show. I highly recommend it. Uh, Ammo Smurf, it ain't smoke. It, it is that good. But season three onwards is kind of, yeah, I, I think the writing was horrible. Season one with Anthony Hopkins as he plays like Ford. Um, Bernard is, oh, I love, uh, season one. The beginning of season two was kind of whack. Uh, where they kind of went to Japan. Um, and they kind of rep, like repeated the story of season one a little bit, but uh, the end of the mid to the end of season two was good. Season three onwards, um, it was okay, you know. Season four was like holy shit, what the fuck is this show? You know what I mean, man? Oh. One of the fucked up things HBO did was they took out Westworld from their streaming site. I wanted to rewatch that shit, but they, they removed it. Why? Right? It's like HBO is like going out of business and they can't even afford to keep like fucking Westworld on their, on their servers. Season four is a totally different show. Yeah, it is. It, there was like the guy from like Breaking Bad, right? Who played Jesse. He was on that show. What is his name again? I forgot. I forgot the guy who played uh, Jesse in from Breaking Bad. He was in the show too. Oh, and they also filmed Westworld in Singapore because Singapore was looks so futuristic that they filmed uh, like a lot of shots in Singapore. Aaron Paul, yes, Aaron Paul, yeah, yeah. I, I like I actually like his um, Breaking Bad movie, uh, El Camino. A lot of people are talking shit about it, but I think it was actually pretty good. I liked it. I think it was like kind of campy. It was like a little bit fan servicey, but Al Camino was cool. It was kind of like giving a little bit of closure 
to the fans that really like Jesse. They want him to have a good life or whatever. Yeah, Aaron Paul is cool. He kind of plays the same character in every fucking show, though. Every time I see him, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's Jesse. Jesse, we got to cook. Shout out to Walter White. Shout out. Um, it's a good show, man. What a show. Oh, that sequel? Can't really remember much from that movie. Yeah, I mean, that movie is about him, like... I can I be honest? I don't remember much either. But I, I just know the gist of the movie was him trying to break free. He was just trying to like make his escape. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, the movie isn't like 100% like the best film of all time. It's not that great. But, uh, oh, Better Call Saul is incredible. I might actually say like Better Call Saul is probably better than Breaking Bad because Breaking Bad made it good okay like Better Call Saul cannot exist without Breaking Bad but I okay I think the proper way to phrase it is I like Better Call Saul more than Breaking Bad because I really like Saul's character they did an amazing job fleshing out his character in his own spin-off TV show it's really good man Better Call Saul. Man, I feel like watching Better Call Saul again, but I, it feels like I have to watch rewatch um, Breaking Bad in order to watch, like, you know, kind of, like, put it into sequence again. I think I watched, like, Breaking Bad twice. Like, the entire, all the, or all four, was it four seasons? Or was it five? I don't remember. But I watched, like, um... And then Westworld season one, I watched twice. I'm currently uh, finishing rewatching Boardwalk Empire. I love Boardwalk Empire. Such a great show. Starring Steve Buscemi, Carrie McDonald, Michael Pitt. And the writers are amazing. They're all the, like the same people that work on The Sopranos. Sopranos is tight, man. I'm actually also rewatching The Sopranos. Damn. HBO was tight, man. House of Dragon was shit. House of Dragon feels like a fucking bitch fight. I don't like House of Dragon. I I hate watch it every every single Monday when they have a new episode. You know? Yeah, I'm rewatching a lot of shows. What what are you watching right now? Ammo Samarth. Oh dude. If you like Westworld, can I recommend some shows to you? Like, you would love these shows, all right? But that's a downside to it. You got to get Apple Plus. Uh, Apple TV, sorry. You got to get Apple TV. Um, if you love Westworld or you like Westworld, you should check out Silo, S-I-L-O, and Severance on uh, Apple. You're watching Three Body Problems is I... Okay, I'm not going to watch that. If that's the review you're giving it. Dude, you gotta watch Silo and Severance. It's so good. It's uh, it's on Apple TV. Yeah. I tried watching Foundation, but it was alright. No fucking way. You don't lie to me. Severance did not get cancelled. There's no fucking way it got cancelled. Wait, don't lie. Let me let me Google that shit. That's a goddamn lie. I thought they said they, they were like they're gonna have season two. It's such a good show. Wait, let me see. You're lying to me right now. Severance. Cancel. Um. Dude, you're that's that's not true. That's not true. Okay, so according to the news. Apple TV Plus confirmed that the fans will get to enjoy another se season. Okay, so filming for season 2 for Severance officially commenced in January 2024. The cast wrapped production in April 2024. Scott confirmed to People. People.com Yeah, so it's back. Dude, you fucking made my heart explode, man. I thought... Yeah, the last time you heard it was cancelled. Oh, shit. Really? There was a rumor? 
Oh, it's back. Oh, you watch Severance. Severance is so fucking good. It had like Okay, it's like uh it's different from Westworld, but it has like similar concepts about like Westworld. Similar concepts about like what makes you a human, about memory, about like it's like Gnostic shit, man. Love it. Love it. Oh, you should watch Silo. You would love Silo. Silo is also an Apple uh TV. Yeah. Damn. I love I love watching TV, man. Love TV. TV's tight. Dude, my my house is like a, a typical NRA card holder house. It's like full of fucking guns and shit. Damn. Look at that. Beautiful. Damn, what you been up to though, Amos Marth? Do you Oh shit! My gun! It it fucking disappeared. Oh, did I did I save? Okay, I think I did. Yeah. Holy shit, it disappeared. It went through the wall and went through the floor and it fucking pieced out. Dude, what the hell was that? Yeah, Severance is cool. I can't wait for season two. Season one was so good. I, okay, that's not a safe place to put your items. Did it fall downstairs? Oh no, it totally, oh yeah, it did fall downstairs. Okay, fine. It, it didn't completely disappear, but I guess it's a dangerous spot to put your shit. Uh, ooh, wouldn't it be cool if you put the automatic rifle on the near the uh the chair? Yeah, I love watching TV. I think when I was a kid, like uh, one of the first few shows I was introduced to was uh, I watch a lot of HBO, a lot of HBO because like HBO was one of those like TV sh channels that like, they show titties. And I watched like, a lot of incredible movies. Like I watched like The Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption, uh, Sopranos, The Wire. It was like, wow, TV was like, like if you ever wonder why my English is pretty good for an Asian guy that never grew up in the US, you got to thank HBO for that. I watched so much HBO, man. Holy shit. It was like HBO was like a naughty channel. It was like a it was like one of those things that you're not supposed to watch as a kid because they got titties and shit. But I love it. Watch every moment of it. Damn, my house is popping, man. Look at that. Look at my house. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs and look. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. I'm proud of the bed though. I spend a lot of time like decorating the bed. Man, I feel really tired. Today's the last stream of the week. It's a Friday right now in Singapore and it's July 26th. Man, I might call the stream early. What's for lunch? I think maybe pasta. Maybe pasta a la bolognese. I like bolognese pasta. Maybe pasta. I might not eat lunch actually. I might actually wait until dinner. Cause I'm, I'm doing this whole one meal a day thing. And I, I kind of like eating while watching TV. So I don't know. Or I might just order lunch anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I might get pasta. What you getting for lunch, Valky? Fasting? Yeah, I fast every day. I only eat like one meal a day. It, it helps a lot. My energy goes through the roof. I lose a lot of weight. Um, I actually lost a little bit of weight during COVID. I was a little bit of a fat fuck when I was um, not streaming. I was eating a lot. I think I lost like seven kilograms um, during COVID. I, I actually caught COVID, I think, um, like, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. Yeah, but that one meal you eat a lot, yeah, I do. 
Yeah. You're the same way when watching TV, Sineki? Yeah, it's tight, right? Like, eating and watching TV. That's the best shit ever. It's like, after a long day, you just want to, like, kick back. Oh, and I, I used to drink a lot, too. Fasting helps. Yeah. Because, like, uh... You can't eat as much as you like during that one meal because it, your stomach can only contain so much food. And also, you got to be very wary about the type of food you're eating, right? So if you're eating a lot of carbs, you're going to be very hungry very, very soon because your body is running on glycogen, which is like sugar, right? But if you eat a lot of protein, uh, your body likes that. Your body stays full for way longer. So if you are if you're looking to losing weight and going to the, for the one meal a day sort of thing, you wanna like um eat a lot of protein, and you can kind of eat junk if you like. If you like, oh my god, <laughs> if you if you like eating like uh fried chicken, stuff like that, you know, go for it. Fuck, I forgot to save. I gotta do this shit again. Okay, cool. Make sure we save. Yeah, but pasta is so addictive, man. Pasta is fucked up, right? Because like, if you eat something in high in protein, like steak, once you eat like a a, a, a fist size of steak, you get full. But you can fuck up a whole bowl of pasta. It's crazy. I think Joe Rogan uh, said it on his show before. And, and it totally makes sense. Like, pasta is one of those foods you can fuck up. Like, it's so easy to, like, eat it, so much of it. But I love it, man. A whole bowl of pasta. Man. Especially when the sauce is really good. Where do I put this super sledge? I don't love it, but I think it looks cool. Can I put it against the wall? Like, between the bed and the wall. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be. Exactly where I want it to be. Man, I can't wait to watch like that cheerleading documentary on Netflix. The one with like the, the cheerleaders that do the cheer for the Dallas Cowboys. I think. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. I've always wondered what makes a girl want to do cheerleading. I guess it's like attention, maybe? Having attention is like pretty cool, I guess. I guess it's like maybe the same as streaming. But except on streaming, you don't have to sh like fucking be hot. But in cheerleading, you gotta be hot. Isn't that a weird thing? Like, we live in such a woke world where, like, you know, you you have, like, every TV show is woke as fuck. You know, there are certain words you can say, certain words you cannot say. But you still have, like, things like cheerleading where they, they try to get the hottest girls to, to you know, like, um, put on a good show every time at halftime at a sports event. Like, isn't that kind of, like, I don't know, like, not woke at all. But I guess because, like, people watch, like, it, it, it affects the ratings. So people are like, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit. I wonder if, like, the woke culture have ever complained about, um, cheerleading at all. I think, like, some, probably some fat bitch probably, like, complain about cheerleading. Saying it how it's like fat shaming and shit. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Holy shit. Like a super sledge near the bed. So that if anyone tries to be cute, I just grab the super sledge and whack them in the face. Yeah. I think in my free time, I watch a lot of stand-up comedy. 
I think the the new comedian that I watch a lot is like Shane Gillis, because he does like incredible Donald Trump impression. And um, my favorite comedian is I have like two favorite comedians. I watch, I love Patrice O'Neill. I still listen to a lot of the Opie and Anthony radio show with Patrice, and the living comedian I watch is Tim Dillon because Patrice is uh, have passed. So Patrice O'Neill and Tim Dillon, Shane Gillis. I used to listen to I I used I like Sebastian Maniscalco. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably call the stream, man. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys been awesome. I think all I've really been doing today is decorating, but it's very therapeutic to do this. It feels very therapeutic. It feels really good. For me, I can see if there's anything else I want to add. Okay, uh, Wazer Wifel. Thank you, Valky. I appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out. It was really nice of you to hang out. Wazer Wifel. I got this gun from, um, one of the kids that live in lamp a uh, lamplight. It's an actual gun, which is weird because it's supposed to be a toy. Okay, I don't know if I want to put it here. Or should I put it downstairs? Wazer waffle. Uh I don't know. It seems like I'm running out of space a little bit. Okay, what if I got rid of the cups and I put the Wazer Waffle over there? It's quite entertaining that we have topics to talk about. Yeah, it, 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 it is. I think I a lot of times I like have thoughts in my head of like what I want to talk about on stream. Like sometimes like because I would I would like be up at night like um like fucking not being able to sleep because I would be like agonizing about certain stuff, right? And I can't wait to talk about it on stream because like streaming is like kind of my therapy. I get to talk as much as I like. Oh shit. Get in there. <laughs> now it's upside down. Okay, beautiful. Can I flip it? Okay, should I save? Can I flip it the other way? Ah, uh, yes, like that. Oh, fuck. Okay, I knocked some, some shit over. I don't know if I can face this, like, upright, like this. Yeah, I don't know if the game is capable of, like, letting it be upright. Yeah, okay, let me reload. You play Sims? Like, do you try building there? Yeah, I play The Sims, but I think the Sims I played, the, the last Sims I played was The Sims 2. Yeah, I think the later ones are not as good because they are, like, full with monetization, I think. Yeah, I, I love The Sims. Sims is cool. Yeah, boy. Okay, maybe let me try another another way. Maybe let me try put it somewhere else. The Sims. Sims is cool. I really miss like a good game. Like, do you ever feel like the games from back then were like almost way better? Because they're not like full with corporate greed. Now it feels like games are filled with corporate greed. Like whenever you get a game, you don't even get the full version of the game because they're always trying to sell you the, um, the fucking DLC. You know what I mean? It's like when you buy the Sims of today, I think it's like, I don't know, is it Sims 4 or something? They cut out the content from the main game so they can sell it to you for $5 a piece. You play, 
games so much a lot of games don't excite yeah it feels like a lot of games nowadays are like copy pasted they're copy pasted type of games oh I'm kind of out of space but this would be such a sick place to uh, display the gun Okay, probably gotta move the Brahmin skull. Yeah, move it here a little bit. And maybe I'll put the mutilated skull where it was. Yeah, I can't wait to try the game. Uh seven days to die. I'm I'm gonna look it up. I might stream it next week. You never know. Wait, where's the mutilated skull? Okay, right here. Yeah, it's so hard to find a good game. Like, I think a lot of games are, like, very formulaic right now because, like, when it comes to, like, big companies, they, they are kind of trying to appease their investors. Well, whatever you stream, I try to be there. Thank you. Thank you, Valky. You're so nice. You're so nice. Thank you so much. If I can, if I'm not streaming. How, when do you stream uh, every day, Valky? Like, what time do you stream? Oh, you enjoy talking to me? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I should take some credit too. I'm a really good talker. I'm gonna take full credit for that. What are you getting for lunch? Man, I'm like addicted to tacos, man. I, I want to get tacos for lunch. I vibe, I say. Thank you. That's nice of you. Yeah, I love tacos. I, I'm the type of guy that once I start getting a kick for something, like I think like, uh, I think it was a month ago, I was like addicted to uh, naengmyeon, which is like Korean cold noodles. And I eat that shit like every day. And then I got sick of it. And I don't want it anymore. Holy shit, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god, that's perfect, right? Okay, wait, can I? I think I can push it in a little more. So I'm optimizing my display space. I don't know still what I'm gonna eat. What did you have yesterday? Same, I have that too, like when I eat something delicious, I love the taste and texture, I keep eating it. It just makes me happy. Yo, me too. I don't know if, is, is that an OCD thing? Like because we are OCD, whenever we eat something, we want to eat it again so that we can like download its like, its like flavor profile or something. It could be an OCD thing. This is actually a unique gun. It's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I think that should be perfect. Wazer Wifle. It's literally called a Wazer Wifle if you look at the name. I'm not trying to be cute or and shit. Wazer Wifle. Man, I'm so happy, man. Look at this. My house is so cozy and nice. Got the Wazer Waffle, Death Claw Egg, Rat Scorpion Egg, a Mutilated Skull, Brahmin Skull. Um, I haven't figured out, like, or found any new helmets to put over here. I think eventually I will find something cool. Like this Enclave Tesla helmet. Damn, you cannot remember what you ate for lunch. I think for me, it's really easy to remember because I always eat the same things. Man, I should probably call the stream. But I'm having so much fun decorating my house. It's too much fun. Okay, I have a pair of binoculars, but I don't know where to put the binoculars. Oh, okay, maybe with the music sheet. Okay, but that wouldn't look as cool. What about the fist?
Ooh, this one looks cool. It's like a power fist, but it's called Fisto. Wow, I think you can even display it like this. I don't know where to put this. Do you eat food to survive or eat to taste like you enjoy food? Like there are these two types of people. I eat to... I used to eat to survive, but I currently eat to taste more often. Yeah, my OCD makes me do this, right? But I don't know. It's kind of entertaining because like whenever I am doing shit like this, I talk a lot about interesting stuff that people want to hear. Or at least I think people want to hear. Right? Right, Sineki? Fuck. Holy shit, you can't even put it upside down. Okay, that's too weird. Yeah, it'll look better upright. Or maybe on its side like that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a little busy with the scrap metal. You're used to it? Thank you, Sineki. sineki has been following me for quite a long time. Let me check. sineki has been following me since 17 August 2020, man. Four years. Damn. Holy shit, you created your account the same month you uh, followed me, Sineki. Your account was created 17 August 2020 and you started following me 17 August 2020. That's crazy. You gotta give the Sineki that VIP badge. Only if- Oh, he does have a VIP badge. Yeah, I think Sineki does have a VIP badge. That blue thing with the crown on it. Damn, thank you, Sineki. Oh, he didn't use it? Oh, did I not give you the VIP badge, Sineki? Why are you not using the VIP badge, fool? I should call the stream, man. I'm, I'm really tired. It's the end of the week. I can't wait to go grab some lunch and probably train some Tekken, man. I'm getting better with Lydia, the new character in Tekken 8. She just released this week and she is a karate master. Oh, the crown is a prime gaming badge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Did I give you... Do you want the VIP badge, Sineki? Okay, let me try that. Okay, I'm going to save... And call the stream soon. Okay. Okay, let's see. You want the VIP badge or our VIP? VIP syndicate. Maybe you are already a VIP. I don't know. Okay, does that work? Oh, okay, maybe I gotta remove the at Sineki. Maybe just VIP Sineki. Okay, did that work? I don't think it did. I don't know if that works. Oh, uh, is there a space? Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Wait, let me, let me do without a space. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it works. On Twitch settings. Uh, oh wait, maybe I can click his name and like make him VIP. No, there's no option to make him VIP. Under roles on Twitch settings. Because you're on PlayStation? Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm on PC. I'm on, like, Open Broadcasting Studios on PC. I'm on PC. Uh, Twitch settings. Okay, I'm checking my settings right now. Um, okay, under settings says profile, profile, prime gaming channel and videos. 
security and privacy notifications connections content preference i don't see a i don't see a button for oh vips okay okay maybe i'll try that okay v i p s uh symmetry Oh wait, the Cinekid is already a VIP. Yeah, so the VIPs for this channel are Big Boss Matters, Cinekid, and The Desert Fox. Yeah, 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 I see it, I see it. So I made Cinekid a VIP a long time ago, but he doesn't use the badge. Because he's a little bitch. Now nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> it's all love, Cinekid. I love talking shit. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you. He doesn't use that badge because he's a bitch. Oh, thank you, Cinekid. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, alright? I'll be back next week, same time, same place. Um, Yeah, have a good taco. You too, Valky. You too, Cinekid. Everyone in chat, take it easy. And Oh, also, if anyone... um, Go to Valky the Meow's channel and show her some love. You know, follow her channel, watch her streams whenever. I'm not streaming, stuff like that. So, yeah, you go check her out, Sineki. Take care. Peace.